All right, so uh, you can see that we are coming to the end of the video. So without um, without guessing, you can know that Shane is going to be the one to climb over the hill here. Uh, let's have a look at what was the mistake that was made in this particular rack here. Let's see if I can get a good break off. I know Shane is on the hill, so my objective is to really put the handcuffs on here. It's not a bad break there by Apex. Very good spread, getting a ball down, was I? No, I did not get a ball down, but I didn't leave Shane with any opening here. And like I said, Shane usually comes up with a shot or two when it matters the most. Once he's on the hill, he'll make that odd mistake here or there, but he most likely is always going to really come up with something to really get him out. Now look at that safety there. Oh, that's really good. Oh, oh, oh that's really good. I uh, don't know if you guys want to call that luck, but that was really good. Hooking me behind the six and getting the one ball. So you can call that a containing safety. You can call it a hook. I definitely cannot see this one. I cannot even see an edge of the one. Now here's the big mistake that I made here. Now... Kicking at the object ball is never my problem. It's just trying to kick with intent. Now notice how soft I try to kick at the shot. Because I'm trying to kick the one ball into the short rail and back over to the side rail. But I misjudged the kick angle here. And you can see, very disappointed with that. And this, again, you've seen Shane run that almost unorthodox, ridiculous rack earlier. And... It's not quite open. There's a lot of problems here. And considering that Shane really um, missed that shot, I think, he, I think he ran this rock. I can simply say that he ran this rock to really prove to himself that that was not the usual error that he would have made there. So Shane, open table, no problems. Four ball into the side, three ball into the corner. He's very calm, not really rushing the rock here. Oh no, he takes the four into the corner. So that's nice. Automatic position on the five. Maybe a slight stun draw here or stunning into the side rail maybe. Oh no, he just stun draw there. Moving nicely around the table. You know, a lot of players really like when you play like this, when you don't have to think a lot. But this rock really is like a Cosmo rock. Once he lands there from the one onto the three, it was basically game over here. Shane knocking the 16 coming off one rail, coming up nicely. And I like how he plays the position from the five, pardon me, from the six here to the seven. He really plays a nice shot there, leaving himself with a nice angle from the seven, coming two rails. He's just playing just like how a professional player would play. And this is something, this did not come overnight, guys. Shane and I have been playing pool since we were like 19. We started extremely late. We never knew about this game until we were at the age of 19, maybe 20. And we are in our early 30s right now. So it's just been a little bit over 10 years. We've come a far way. Even to play like this, we have come a far way because... If you guys follow me on Facebook, you'll see a lot of my memories. I'm going to pin a link to my old Facebook page. You guys can scroll through and see how long I've been trying to learn to play this game here. All right. So good win there by Shane. Very good win. Shane coming back after a horrible miss on that 10, taking the shot for advantage. I think we're going to go again. He's taking down the cash. We're going to go again, guys. Um, I, didn't, I didn't record that much, but... I can safely told, tell you that I won that match. I think I defeated Shane and Kevron six to two. No, sorry, six to six to five to two. Shane was on two. Kevron ended up being on five, and I went on to get into six. So good run out, good rock there by Shane. Good match. We learned a lot from this, and. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned to the channel. 
Like I said, do not forget to hit the subscribe button below. Turn on your post notification bell. Leave some positive questions and comments down below. And do not forget to share. We have some other players coming in at the moment trying to get into the action as well. Alright, so take care and I'll see you guys in another tutorial.